Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, AKA the Caffeinated Crafter. Um, today's video is going to be about cross stitch. Um, so I guess you could say it's kind of like a uh, floss tube video, but I feel kind of inadequate with the floss tubers because I don't do all the fancy stuff. Um, and uh, like with their, you know, million count linens that are multicolored and, and the fancy silks and, um, and uh, sparkly floss and everything. I, yeah, I, I don't, that stuff kind of makes me nervous. I've got my DMC and I've got my Ada and I got some even weave. I do do the even weave, I do do. <laughs> I like the even weave, um, but I, I, I don't know. Okay, so my history with cross stitch, let me just, because I, my first, my, my very first video, I kind of just very quickly, in my mind very quickly, I think I rambled quite a bit, but in my mind, I quickly went through um, my cross stitch uh, history, if you will, because I was trying to um, keep it like a 30 minute video. And I knew that I wanted to kind of just show everybody what I was working on or had worked on. And I wanted to do both cross stitch and diamond painting to show both sides of what I do. Um, so I didn't really get to delve into what I uh, grew up doing because I've been cross stitching for 30 years, maybe, give or take. Might be just under 30. If there's any noise in the background, I do apologize. I'm running my dishwasher um, and I wanna do it early enough so that I think to unload the dishwasher before I go to bed so it's nice and empty tomorrow. Um, so anyway, I've been cross stitching for about 30 years, um, off and on. I learned how to do it. My mother taught me, um, and she would work out of the magazines. Um, and so I was working out of magazines and everything. And then I kind of put it down and walked away for a couple years. And then when I was about late, dish teens I think I was walking around the craft store in Joann's and I came across the cross stitch section and this kit from Dimensions caught my eye I was like ooh that's pretty so I picked it up to be perfectly honest with my history it's probably in my box, my box of shit over here that I have going on. Like this hot mess of a box of whips that I have. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of, uh, that's kind of where I kind of got back into cross stitching. And I would, every time I went to the craft store, I would look in the cross stitch section and I would see kit the cat that caught my eye because I like the colors and I like big um, projects. I like the big pretty projects with lots of colors. So I get these huge projects with lots of colors like it, it, and then I like sort everything and I get it all ready and then I do about this much of it and then I move on to the next project. That's been my history forever, forever. Um, I, I, I don't know, it's a running joke. Um, so, uh, I, I'm like drawing a blank here of what I was trying to say, I, Jesus, Lord. Uh, so anyway, uh, for a long time, I did nothing but the kits. Uh, I did not know about, uh, it because like the magazines that I saw, 
I just didn't really like what was in them. You know, I just, nothing really fancied me. Or there was nothing I fancied. I don't know how to use that phrase. Um, oh, my coffee tonight. Uh, I just bought, I bought this mug a couple weeks ago at Target. It says Hustle Juice. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Um, and I've got French vanilla creamer today. I think it's Dunkin' Donuts Dark Roast or something like that for my coffee. I think I've had a different creamer with all three of the videos that I have, the two videos I've put out and then this one. I've had a different creamer. I just drink that much coffee, I guess, that I just, every time I do a new video, I'm like onto a new bottle of creamer. Um, so anyway, I didn't know about, like, I, I didn't like the stuff in the magazines, and I didn't know that they had cross-stitch patterns online. Like the Heaven and Earth designs and the stuff on Etsy. I didn't know they had all that. I, uh, I discovered it all through um, YouTube because I started watching diamond painting YouTube videos because I, I had kind of gotten into diamond, I, well, I still am, but I had gotten into diamond painting last year and I just, uh, oh, I think, oh, I remember how I started watching all the craft videos because I was trying to figure out how to frame this diamond painting that I had. And I'm like, God, how do I frame this thing? Because it's a weird size, you know? Still haven't framed it, by the way. Uh, but anyway, I, uh, landed on this one video where, um, the girl was trying to say, oh, well, because, you know, it's a, you know, you, I'm putting it on this frame. I've got to cut like this much of my project off. Like, so you're going to lose like this much of your painting. And I'm like, F that. I'm not cut. That's like a week's worth of work right there. That, that the amount that she cut off was ridiculous. So then I started doing searches for more videos and I landed on GB Maltese um, and she had a really easy and inexpensive way to frame the diamond painting. So I started watching her, then um, recommended videos uh, started popping up and that's how I caught on to Rachel Ray and through her I found Mrs. Coffee. Through Mrs. Coffee, I found Stitcherista. Like it's just like one thing after another after another. And Citrus had all these cross stitch videos and I started watching them and I'm like, where are these patterns coming from? These are actually cool patterns. Like, so then um, she started talking about like this Facebook book group that she was on. I didn't join that group, but I'm like, I'm gonna join a Facebook group. Did a search, some Facebook groups popped up. There's a few that I'm in that are, um, and then one of them is like cross stitch for non assholes. Um, and then uh, there's a few other ones. And um, it, so that's where, you know, those videos and, or those Facebook groups and the uh, YouTube videos. So then that's how I started on Floss Tube. And, um, and now I want to do all the stitchy things. Um, I, so through Facebook, I found a few different um, sales that I want to do or have already started doing. Um, I am in Leslie Tears. Uh, I feel like I have an eyelash in my eye and it itches. That's why I keep rubbing it. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm in Leslie Tears Facebook group. Um, I really, I think this year her stitch along is, it's a, black work and cross stitch mix like it's a lot of black work and then like I think one of her boxes because it's like a box every is it a box every month or I, I don't know what it is because uh, I'm not doing it yet um, because it's hers is not free hers is $15.99 US dollars um, and I frankly uh, cannot afford it just yet. Hold on. Let me just put this down here. Sorry, I had a glass of iced tea with my dinner and the glass was sitting on the table 
and it started sweating everywhere and it's getting on my paper. I think that's all it got on this. So I just moved it because I don't feel like doing anything with it just yet. I'll pick it up after this. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, where, what was I talking about? Leslie's here. It's a birds and Maybe like a birds and bees black work cell. I can't remember. I've been watching everybody's posts like with their progress and it is so pretty. I want to do it so bad. So it's like part black work and part cross stitch. Like I think one of the boxes is like a bird and it's a black work bird, but the wings are cross stitches, like full cross stitches. And it looks so cool. So I really want to do it. And really what caught my eye with hers was I saw somebody had posted in a general uh, cross stitch group uh, their progress on her owl sow from last year. Um, so that's how I got into that group. So I'm just kind of uh, waiting on that one, but I do want to do that. Both of the ones that, because I think her owl one is for sale now. And then, like I said, her birds and black work sell this year is $15.99 and uh, frankly I've got a lot of stuff going on and it doesn't sound like a lot of money um, but it kind of is because I'd have to get the pattern I probably have most of the colors I've got four boxes of DMC floss I think I could make the colors work even if I didn't have the colors I could make it work um, but I think I would have to get the fabric because I don't have, sorry, <laughs> I don't have all the fancy, I like, I don't have a stash of fabric. Well, I have some fabric, but I don't have a huge stash of fabric and I don't have like, I don't think for the patterns that I like to do, I don't have the size fabric that I need. Um, yeah, so if you guys like to buy fabric online just to have, and you like the bigger projects, Y'all tell me what sizes you get when you're just hoarding, because that's basically what we're doing, is we're hoarding the stuff. Tell me what sizes you get in the comments down below when you guys are ordering fabric just to have on hand, because I'm looking at these fabrics online and I'm like, oh, I, would, I really love this one. I really love this one. But I don't know if, if this size here would be good because all the, all the stitch alongs and all the projects that I'm doing or want to do are all these big projects. So I would need like bigger pieces of fabric. And I'm like, I can't afford to spend $40 on a piece of hand dyed fabric just to have, just in case I find something I want to use it on. So let me know what you guys do. Cause yeah. Um, so there's that one that I want to do, but I can't do it yet. Um, and then I still, I have the stuff that I need to do the Harry Potter um, Stitch Your Own Adventure, the Cunning Cow cross stitch. And I think I said this last time and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know the name. Next time I'll have the name down. Mm -mm, I still didn't write it down. But I think it's the Cunning Cow uh, Hogwarts. It's a Harry Potter Stitcher and Adventure. Um, I have the stuff printed out and I have my fabric that I coffee dyed. I showed it in the last, I have it, and I showed it in my first video. But I don't know. Oh, this actually works out because I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I had actually gotten off of Etsy. I don't know if it really shows up very well on here. And I still haven't ironed it. Um, but I don't know if it really shows up very well on here. You can, oh, I, I got a light. So it kind of shows up a little bit better. But basically I watched a couple videos on YouTube and it's a little bit darker in person. But if you if you guys have ever done, tried to take a picture of your fabric, you, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't show up the same. Um, but basically I watched a couple videos on YouTube and this was just um, eight, 18 count white Ada. 
that I picked up, not the Joann's brand, that I picked up at Joann's, but it's not the Joann's brand. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Joann's is putting out some shit fabric right now. Like you try to do the, I just learned how to do this this year too. Try to do the measuring thing to count how many stitches are in a square inch. And it's so off. Um, one of the girls in the uh, Harry Potter stitch along, she stitched her castle and the damn thing was like this big, right? Like this skinny. And it was like, like one of them uh, fun mirrors. That's what it looked like. And she was like, this doesn't look right. So then she counted and she was like, oh my God, the count's off. It was like, I don't remember what it was, but it was like, almost like it was like stretched out, right? So then she bought different fabric, did it again, and then she posted a side-by-side. -side. And it was crazy because the regular, like say the regular castle was supposed to be this big, and the one on the jacked up fabric was this big. It was like, but they were like that. It was nuts. So I'm glad she started over. I told her that too. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna look so much better. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, so for this fabric, I uh, watched a few videos on YouTube and I was like, I want a coffee diet because I have coffee. So I, um, my kids, I don't remember if I talked about how I did this already. I really don't remember. So you might hear it again. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, my kids were making uh, coffee for me one weekend and we were off. They had no school, I think on like a Monday. Somehow there was like four, I think, oh, it must have been when my kids were sick. My kids got, my my uh, youngest son ended up getting sick. And then my oldest son got sick. Youngest and oldest, like I have more than two. My younger one got sick and then my older one got sick. They were both sick off and on. They had some rash, what, what was it? Oh, hand, foot, and mouth. So they were like, of course, I couldn't do it at the same time where we could just be off for a few days and be done. No, my younger one got it. And then after a few days, my older one got it. So I was out of work for like a whole week because I was home with one and then I was home with the other. So anyway, they uh, got into the habit of they like to make me a cup of coffee in the mornings. So, but they don't throw the K-cups away. I use a Keurig. I think I did talk about this because I, I think I talked about my Keurig. So anyway, they, um, I'm already talking about it. So whatever. If you didn't watch the first video, you get to hear this for the first time. Uh, anyway, they don't throw, they weren't throwing the K-cups away. They were tucking them behind the coffee pot. So when I slid the coffee pot over, there's all these K-cups <laughs> I don't, have, I don't know why they weren't throwing them away. Um, but uh, so then I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna save these because I'm gonna copy dye some fabric, right? And uh, so when I finally got to go, I got to go to work one day that week, one day. And then I had to take off Friday because life. So I um, went into work that Thursday and one of our reps had brought some coffee in. Um, he brought in like two things of the cup of Joe from Dunkin' Donuts, you know, the big boxes of coffee. There was only like four of us working that day. I think people were off, people were sick, you know, whatever. So, but even if when we're all there, two, cut, two boxes of that coffee is a little excessive. So, guess who brought a box home to pour over some fabric? This girl right here. So I smeared, I think this was the part I didn't talk about. I uh, dumped the K cups onto the fabric and I like laid it on my stove and I like, sh you know, like really like rubbed it into the fabric. And then I like bunched it all up and I stuck it in a big mixing bowl and then I poured my coffee all over it was cold coffee and I let it sit there for like two hours and then I pulled it out and then I rinsed it off with cold water. It doesn't smell like coffee at all. So that's nice. Um, so it's wrinkled 
and it but it, I think it turned out pretty good though because like it's kind of um yeah I think it turned out really good I like the way it turned out so I'm excited to start the stitch along for the Harry Potter because that's what I'm going to do this on um I guess I should iron this I'm not really big into ironing I just discovered yesterday that I still own an ironing board I thought I got rid of it <laughs> I have an iron. I've used my iron to iron fabric for projects and stuff. I don't iron my own clothes for anything. Um, I hate ironing. I hate everything that's involved with ironing. Um, so, yeah, I just found my ironing board yesterday. I've been living in this damn place for like two years now. <laughs> I thought I got rid of it. But anyway... I probably should iron this before I start stitching on it. I kind of don't want to. I kind of just want to. Because I, I use a hoop and it'll stretch out. I don't know. I don't know if it would mess up the project. Oh, this side's a little darker, actually. I think this side's a little darker. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway. I don't know. I'll probably cave and just iron it and be done with it. People are probably clutching their pearls right now because I said I was going to stitch on it without ironing it. The world will not end. I might have a wrinkly project, but you'll you'll survive. And you know what? You'll see it in a video once I finally finish it next year, and you'll never see it again. And so it ain't going to matter. But anyway, um, if you don't know what the Harry Potter stitch along is, um. I'll put the name of the Facebook group in the video, or in the video, in the description box down below. Um, if you like Harry Potter, you're going to like this project. You really will. I know I haven't started it yet, but you're going to like it. Uh, so the Stitch Your Own Adventure uh, part of it. So the first part was released last year, and it's the frame. And... Uh, it has like owls up here. Some people are all are doing different owls. Like he gives you the pattern, and some people are kind of making it their own a little bit, which he's he said he's okay with because it is a stitch your own adventure. So some people are doing the Hedwig owls. Uh, they're just kind of you know figuring it out. Like he doesn't have patterns for the different colored owls. They're just using that shape, and then they're changing the colors up. Uh, and then the castle, and then somebody created, one of the members created an alternative castle that I kind of like better personally. Um, so I'm still debate. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do the original castle or if I want to do the alternate castle. Um, because I'm going to do the original owls, and then it's got Hogwarts Express up there, and then it's got the six chapters uh, outlines, like you do the outlines, almost like... Ooh, 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 you know, and there's going to be six chapters released this year. And chapter one was released in January. And then down at the bottom are the letters from Hogwarts. And uh, I think I am going to alter that. I'm trying to stick with what the designer did and follow his directions because I don't know. I feel like when you change a pattern so much, it's kind of an insult to the person who spent so much time creating it. I'm okay with changing colors, but the actual like focus of the design to me is kind of like a, a big F you, like I'm gonna do my own thing. I, I don't know, that's just me. So I, I am gonna change one of the letters down at the bottom because they're all white and I wanna make one of them red and make it a howler. I've seen some people do that and I thought that was kind of cool. I think I'll do that, but I'll probably stick with the original um, castle um, and then the first chapter that got released in January is your house banner oh and you have your wand you have a swirl with each color of that's like one swirl for each house like red blue green and yellow and then you have a wand and for the wand you have to take a die a die a die and roll it and the first number that you roll is your DMC color that you're going to stitch your wand in, one through six, and he gives you six different color flosses. 
And so your first roll is what color you stitch your wand in. Second roll is the head of the wand that you're choosing your wand. So roll number two is the head of the wand, head of the wand. And the shaft of the wand is roll number three. I don't know, the left half and the right half. So that's how you, and that's in the, in the things too. And then for the house banner, you can um, either pick the one that you want or you can do the Pottermore quiz and be sorted into a house. I am a Ravenclaw. So I was, uh, at, at first I was disappointed I wasn't a Gryffindor, but then I was like, you know what, I kind of like the Ravenclaw. So both my kids, apparently I had them do the quizzes too. My older one, he was a Hufflepuff. And so he, at first he was disappointed and then I read to him what the Hufflepuff description was. And he was like, you know what, I kind of like that. And I was like, you know what, I kind of do too. It suits you. And, um, and he was like, he was like, I bet my brother's a Slytherin. I was like, you know what? I bet you're right. He probably is a Slytherin. My second one, my first one, he's like the perfect angel. My second one, he is the one that if I had him first, I wouldn't have had more kids. <sighs> that boy tries my patience so bad. <laughs> so I had him do the quiz and I'm thinking the entire time he's going to be a Slytherin. No, he's a Hufflepuff. And I'm like, really? So anyway, um, okay, so. Moving on, because I'm not even doing that one right now. I might start that next week, maybe. The other, another style that I'm doing is the linens and threads. I had to put it right side up. I was like, holy shit, I started this on the wrong end. Of no, I had it upside down. <laughs> the linens and threads, um, hold on. I can't show you this because it's the pattern. Oh, it's just called Linens and Threads Mysteries Sampler. So it's um, Fox and Rabbit's designs, or Fox and Rabbit designs did the pattern. And um, linenandthreads.com is where you can find, they have a Facebook group for this as well, but you can go to their website because that's where you have to go to get the pattern. It's not on the Facebook group. Uh, the Harry Potter one is on the Facebook group, but I think it will link you to the website. Um, the Linen and Threads uh, Mystery Sampler is on their website. So it's linenandthreads.com, and I think it's like on their homepage. And they have multiple years of these samplers, uh, mystery samplers, and it's free. This one is free, and the Harry Potter one is free as well. Um, but this one is free, and he releases a new one every um, month. So, but I'm behind. Now, this is where I got fancy. I went on, um, I went on 123stitch.com and because, because the only thread that I could not find that I needed for my Harry Potter stitch along that I hadn't started was the variegated DMC 4010. I looked in all the craft stores that I could find around here and I could not find that little joker to save my life. So then I'm thinking, well, what if I just mix some browns together? Because I'm thinking it's a brown. No. I googled DMC 4010. It's a very pretty blue. So doesn't really go with anything in this in the in the Harry Potter stuff. So I'm like, what in the world is this going to be used for? Ooh, maybe Quidditch. <gasps> Ooh, that'd be cool. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I decided to go ahead and go on one, two, three stitch and make my first ever online cross stitch order. And uh, but I was not going to pay, uh, like shipping or you know put like a dollar 96 on my credit card for one thing of floss not happening so i bought a couple so i decided to go ahead and order some opalescent ada so this is 18 count white opalescent ada and you can't see the glitter oh yeah you can a little bit see how glittery that is and and then a couple patterns, but I don't know what I did with them. 
I don't know what I did with them. I think they're over there somewhere. I'll show them next time. It'll give me something else to talk about. Um, and then I ordered my, yeah, my floss. Uh, so, I now have upgraded to op Opalescent Ada and Variegated DMC. I think I'm saying it correctly. If I'm not, just laugh at me and make fun of me. I really don't care. I decided to go with, with the um, Variegated for the Linens and Threads Mystery Sampler. I am not caught up on this one. This is still January and it's not even complete. But, isn't that pretty? So this is DMC 45, ah, shoot. 45, 15? Hold on. I've got my um, floss box here. This is all the floss I need for all my current projects. Oh, this is the one I had to order, the 4010. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah, 4514. Uh, DMC 4514 is what I'm using on this current stitch along. So, um, I still have to finish this part here. There's a few things over here I got to do. And then there's also going to be initials that are scattered throughout the sampler. And the initials are of anybody that you want. So I'm kind of waiting on the initials. And I might go back and add them later because I don't really know who I want to put in there. Because you got to think about long and hard about who you're putting in this thing. You don't just want to put some, you know, person. You're like, oh, I like this person right now because this is going to, this is, the idea is that this thing's going to last a while. Um, and then February is going to go down, down here. Plus with this, um, stitch along, you get a free ornament pattern every month. And the ornament is actually, um, this right here, but completed. Um, I think this is some kind of star shape in here. So again, I've been working on that one. Another stitch along. This one is out of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. I saw this in Stitcherista's uh, little flip through and I happened to have some even weave that I measured out and I think that, and this will be big enough. So yeah, cause there's just one more box that goes over here. Um, but this is a stitch along that's going to last all year. Nice job, just cross stitch because guess who's gonna be buying your magazine all year long to get the rest of the freaking pattern? This one right here. So this is all I have right now. But what I liked about this one, what I thought was really cool about this stitch along is, let me show you the picture. So this will be the whole thing right here. Obviously with more detail as the year goes on. <laughs> I know you know that. So what I thought was really cool about this one is these stitches here and obviously these down here and the box around the butterfly oh this is the butterfly and b1 crap what was wesley tears called then shoot i don't remember birds and black work maybe i don't know anyway what was cool about these is that they're um different types of specialty stitches so the ones over here are long arm cross stitches so it's like one two and you go three, which was right under the one hole, but then you go way over here to four. Then you come back over and go five, six, and then you come over here where the two came out of seven, way over here to eight. So it's like essentially three and then um, nine next to the, in the four hole and 10. And so basically it's three cross stitches that stretch over Well, it's, there are three cross stitches that stretch over what 
three would normally stretch it would go over but the way that they're done they kind of crisscross and make this really neat looking design and then the um the one that's over here and so that's the long arm cross stitch and then the one that's over here is called the uh the four-sided stitch and basically you're just cross stitching a box over four threads it's recommended to do it over the even weave and so and since i had it uh since i had it i went ahead and um and i literally had all the colors it uh, it's sponsored by sullivan's uh usa so all the colors if you end up picking this up all the colors are in um, Sullivan's numbers. So like the violet and the blue that I did were like 45125 and 45382. I don't have Sullivan's threads. And I'm not gonna order Sullivan's threads just for this when I literally could convert it to DMC because that's what I have. And I'm trying to not spend a lot of money on my craft when I have other stuff that I can do. Um, so I went, I Googled Sullivan's to DMC and pulled up their, ch the chart, the conversion chart. And I had every single color. I was like, yeah, it was meant to be. I had the fabric. I had the floss. I was like, I am meant to do this. Meant to. So I started that. This is last night's work. Okay. Another sigil. <laughs> Wow, I'm doing a lot of aren't I? <laughs> That's okay. I love them. I love them because I can put it down and walk away and be like, well, it's a year long project, so I can't do it all at once. Maybe that's my, maybe that's what I need. I need to do stitch alongs because that gives me a reason to put it down and walk away. <laughs> Another one I'm doing is Peppermint Purple's Blackwork South. Um, this is a uh, this is also free um, if you go on. <clears throat> I don't know if she has it online, like on a website. But um, if you go on Facebook and search Peppermint Purple. I'll find the Facebook group name. And I'll put it in the description box down below. But if you search like peppermint purple, black work cell or something like that, it should pop up. She's like, she's so sweet. And that, that group is just absolutely amazing. Everybody's so nice. Everybody's so like, oh my God, look at this. You know, so um, she's okay with people adding borders to their, um, around the edge of their black work um, piece. She's okay with that. She's just not okay with people if anyone changes the design, which, you know, I think would be an asshole move. She goes through all this work. Uh, the only thing I changed was the color. I'm not adding a fancy border or anything like that. I'm just changing the colors because I really love blues and I thought this would look really cool with blues. Plus it started with color, I think like 814 or 815, which I personally don't really care for that color, period. Um, so when I saw that people were changing their colors, I was like, you know what? Maybe I could change my colors to like different shades of blue. So we're, I did not do week seven yet. It just came out. It comes out on Wednesdays. Isn't that pretty? So I'm doing different shades of blue. Um, like I said, it's a weekly uh, release. And um, I obviously have not finished the the frame, <laughs> uh, but it's a 52 weeks. Um, it's a 52 week project and I will get working on this one. Um, I'm really excited about this one because I think it's really pretty. It's my first um, time doing black work and I think it's really nifty and it's so nifty. In fact, I went on her website and I purchased one of her patterns uh, from her website um, on Etsy. Um, but I have not printed it out, so I can't show you. I'll show you that one next time too. Give me something else to talk about. Um, so there's that. And then, oh.
So I'm gonna show you this first, and then I'll show you the, the, um, the picture, not the pattern, the picture. Okay, so I, that, I again, so that, like I purchased the patterns on Etsy because I ended up getting PayPal from somebody for something. I think for my kids' fundraiser, I paid for their crap for them, and then they paid me through PayPal. So I had this PayPal money, went on Etsy and bought a few patterns. So I already had the fabric. I know you don't know what this is, but can you read that? No, you can't because that stupid thread's in the way. Can you read that word? Pivot. <laughs> Anybody know what that's from? If you don't, you must have been living under a rock in the 90s. Hold on. Now i got to find the stupid picture after I've been talking all this smack. It's from Friends. I found this. It's like a bunch of different, can you see, yeah. Uh, it's a bunch of different um, quotes. I had to think of the word. Quotes from there, um, like the whole like Unagi, that's on here. And um, let me see, we were on a break. How you doing, the holiday armadillo, the pivot, pivot, pivot. Um, It's like some of these quotes, like when you when when I read them, I'm hearing the their voices in my head. Uh, so anyway, oh, they don't know that we know. They know we know. <laughs> like when uh, about Monica and Chandler. <laughs> anyway, if you if you're a fan of the uh, show, you'll know what this is. Well, you'll you know you'll know about these quotes, and. Um, I got this from Stitch Area on Etsy, and I will link the shop um, down below in the description box. I don't know if I'll be able to link that exact pattern, but I'll link her shop down below, and I'm pretty sure it pops. It's one of the first ones that pops up because that's what caught my eye on her shop. I was just kind of like looking through stuff. Um, and then, let me see, let me see. Oh, and then this one, is I'm working on this one still. This is Christmas on the Beach. Um, it's one of the Dimensions Gold Collections, but it's a petite. It's five by seven, finished size, seven by five, whatever. You would think that this would be a nice, quick little stitch. No, it's a Dimensions kit, which means it's full coverage. And it's a gold collection kit, which you know, if you, you've ever done a dimensions kit, you know that means, well, in this little section, you're gonna do two strands and you're gonna do full cross stitches. And in this section, you're going to do uh, four strands in the same color as this one, but it's only gonna be half cross stitches. And then this up here, you're gonna do six strands and it's gonna be half cross stitches. And you know, so it's a lot of color changes, a lot of half stitches, a lot of, you know, Anyway, so I, um, I've been using, I, this is, a, I've been practicing the, the parking method on this one. So I've got threads hanging everywhere, but this is how far I've gotten with that. I've pretty much, I've got a couple of uh, things in the star that I have to do. There, you can see that better. I got a couple of uh, stitches in the star of the tree that I have to do, but you see, I've gotten part of the part of the chair done and I've been working on the sky a bit um so yeah <clears throat> but I had kind of set this aside because I had started doing the stitch alongs because I wanted to see if I could try to get some of them caught up before their next release like the the black work one the peppermint pal one that one is going to be kind of a I'm never going to stay caught up on it because it's a weekly release um but the um Linens and Threads one, um, that one is a monthly release. So I'm behind with that one because it's January and February and we're already like halfway through February just about. And um, 
I haven't even, I'm only halfway done with January. And then um, I think the other one that's out of that magazine, I should have that one done pretty quickly. I'd say by next weekend, depending on how much I get to cross stitch. Um, because all I have to do, I did the outline of the boxes on, on it and I just have to do the insides of both of those boxes and then I'm good until their next issue comes out. And then I gotta do the Harry Potter one. That one is in every other month. So chapter one was released in January. Chapter two isn't released until March, but I haven't even started the damn thing. So, um, okay. So to keep myself accountable, let me just real quick. These are my versions of project bags, my Ziploc bags. And I got project number and the name of it. Oh man. So anyway, like I said, I have not, I think I showed this in my first video. I still have to outline this one. This was a dimensions kit. I don't even know where, oh, here it is. I do have the, the picture from the kit so I can see what it looked like in the end. This is called Wild Call in Winter, copyright 2001. We're in 2020. 2001. This thing is old enough to drive. It's old enough to vote. Uh, so, wait, no, this is in Dimensions. This is by Creative Accents. My bad. That's what it looks like. Copyright 2001. Anyway, um, Lord Jesus, it is by Dimensions. It's just not one of their gold collection kits. It says it right down here. Copyright 2001. Dimensions. Dungeon. Fucking idiot. Anyway, so I have to outline the uh, trees. And I have to outline this. I almost called him an owl. It's late. This wolf right here. I already outlined that wolf over there. So I think I gotta do a little bit of outlining on, like right down here, and these leaves over here, and then I gotta do the wolf and the trees. Yeah, the birch trees there, and then I'll be done with it. Iron it. I will iron the finished ones. Because they'll look weird if I, they'll look jacked up if I don't. So there's that one. I've made zero progress with that since my last video. I'm hoping if I keep pulling them out to show you, I'll finally do them. Because then I can say, look bitches, I got this one done. Ha ha, in your face. Anyway. Here's another one that I showed you last time that all I had to do was outline it. I still ain't done that. Isn't that pretty though? I really like it. I like it a lot. This one is also a Dimensions kit. Uh, this one is called Glory of Autumn. Um, so I've started outlining in here in the tree and then I've got to do the fence and the, well, all of it. I got to outline all of it. The um, barn and the geese. There's geese down here, down here in the water. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of outlining to do on that one. I really should, I think the next big kit that I, or big project that I do, I think I'm gonna outline as I go. I've seen some people on Facebook say that they do that because they hate outlining. And I'm like, you know, that's not a bad idea. I do have a lot of kits that I have that I have not done that maybe I'll try doing that with them too. Um, this one's not as old, copyright 2011. That one's not as old. Um, so yeah, so this one is just the outlining and then that one will be done. And then this last one is from a magazine. I don't know the name of the magazine because I copied it. The, I, I made a copy, a working copy of the pattern and um, 
I have no idea what count this is fabric or what it is. I, I some kind of linen. I do know that. I don't know what the count is. It is extremely tiny. Maybe like maybe 36. I don't know. It's tiny. It is very tiny. I'm stitching that flower over two threads and I think that's why I put this down and walked away because I think that flower was giving me a run for, the, for my money. I was not a fan of it whatsoever. Um, oh, this was out of a Just Cross Stitch magazine. I just, it's, I just, I looked at my copy down here. It's down here at the bottom. February two, ha! February 2016 Just Cross Stitch magazine. I can't show you that part. That's the pattern. Um, it's by Marie Barber. And um, it says the recommended uh, material is 28 count amber linen. I don't think. I do not think that that is what this is. I feel like this is much smaller. Oh, no, maybe it is. Maybe it is 28 count because I'm looking at my other one that I'm doing my other style on. And um, it looks to be about the same size. But I walked away from the flower because I remember it was driving me up the freaking wall. I was getting very frustrated with it um, because it was, because the flower goes over like, So real quick, goes over, so this goes over three pages, right? And the flower is in all three pages. So I think between going from one page to another page to another page, it messed me up and I just got really pissed off at it. And I was like, no, and I put it, put it down and walked away. I might, so anyway, so that's everything that I'm working on right now. Well, the last three were just, I just wanted to show you that I have not made any progress. <laughs> um, I do want to, I did want to show you guys, I thought this, this is from Stitch Area on Etsy as well. And I saw this and I thought this was really cool. It's one of those uh, word ones. It's a Disney one. And it says, I am a Disney kid. I have battled dragons, pirates, and evil queens. I have Wished upon stars and flown to Neverland. I dream impossible dreams. I have seen magic. I have watched elephants fly. I know the meaning of Ohana and Hakuna Matata. I've reached for the sky. I believe in fairy tales. I will have courage and be kind. I am a Disney kid. And I got this for my best friend and her son because they are Disney fanatics. They go um, every chance they get. Uh, they have annual passes. So I thought, so this, this is the project that I'm debating on what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to, um, be, a put my girl, big girl panties on and, um, buy some hand dyed fabric for it, or if I should do a couple color changes, because this is an, uh, this is a monochrome, uh, stitch. It's just supposed to be all black. So I was kind of debating if I'm going to do it on like, if I'm going to do it in all black, like this recommends, I kind of want to get like a really cool looking hand dyed multicolored fabric. I think that that would be really, really neat to have this all in black on some kind of rainbow fabric or something. I thought that would be really cool. Or if I did it on like white fabric, maybe change some of the words to different colors. Like, um, you know, I could change the, the dragons to like a, a green color or the evil queens to a green color. Or, you know, just change some of the words to different colors. I thought that would be really cool. So, um, that's all I got to show for right now. Um, I'll have more to show because I do have some patterns and stuff that I did purchase for a couple weeks there. And then I decided, you know what, I really need to 
uh, kind of buckle down and not spend so much money. Um, so, but they're, they're around here somewhere. I got to find them. So I'll probably show those in my next video. Um, my plans are going to be to get caught up on these stitch alongs that I've already started. Start the Harry Potter stitch along. Um, work some more on the Christmas beach one. This thing, as small as it is, this is a pain in the butt, let me tell you. Holy cow. Um, and um, I want to start the Harry Potter one. I would like to try to finish one of those three that all I have to do is outline. I would like to try to finish one of those. Um, and I think that, I think that's about, I have like, 50, um, 50 kits from just purchasing kits throughout the years, but I also have patterns that I want to do and like patterns I want to purchase. And I've seen some heaven and earth design patterns. Holy cow. They are nice. So I have seen a few that I want to get, but I, I can't get them right now. Plus, I have projects that I probably could never buy another thing again, and I could be doing I could be doing cross stitch until I die. I think I've got enough projects to last me another forty years. I swear. Anyway, so um, I don't know when I'll if I'll be able to put another video up until not this coming weekend, but next weekend because again I get my kids back tomorrow um, afternoon. And I'll have them all week long, and they would be over my shoulder, hey. sticking their tongues out, wanting to, like, talk and talk about their games. And we don't need all that mess. We don't need all that mess. So, um, anyway, I, I'm, if, I, if I wake up in time, because I love to sleep. Uh, if I wake up in time, uh, I will try to maybe record a whip and chat with the diamond painting on Saturday morning because my stepfather gets the boys every Saturday morning and um, takes them to breakfast. Uh, so, and he usually keeps them until about lunchtime, but I got to get to the grocery store too because... If you're a parent, you know you don't want to be taking these kids to the damn grocery store. So, anyway, I um, I might be able to record something Saturday morning. I don't. I'm not 100% certain, so don't hold me to it. Uh, that's about it. I think that's about it. Um, yeah. So anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked what you see, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. I could I could go either way at this point. Um and if you uh if you watch this all the way through, thumbs up to you. Thanks a lot. And uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys love, what kind of stuff you guys like to stitch, or if you can think of anybody that you really, um, that you like any, the, uh, designers that you really like to stitch, or do you like to stitch from kits, or do you like to purchase patterns and purchase the fabric and the floss and blah, 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 blah. you know, what kind of stuff do you like to stitch? Um, and, uh, let me know, let me know down below. And, um, I don't know if you think of anything that you would want me to show. Like I said, I've got like 50 kits in a box off to my left over here. And uh, there are so many of them. Some of them are started. Some of them are not. But I've got a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Plus all the stuff I want to do. I'm, I'm like going crazy here. Uh, anyway, I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you, um, 
are new to my channel and you would like to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the uh, bell to turn on notifications for whenever I uh, post a video. And I will hopefully see you in my next one. Happy stitching and uh, thanks for watching. Take care guys. Bye.